Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I have a fun card featuring Spellbinder's Painter's Palette. This card is all about paint tubes, and the paint tubes are all about rainbow colors. A fun card to say hello to your crafty friends. If interested, links to the products can be found in the description of this YouTube video or on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. The Painter's Palette die set comes with a number of really fun elements, but I'm just going to be using the paint tube today. There are four dies to put this together. I've die cut both the paint tube and the little detail piece for the bottom of it out of black cardstock. The label die was used to cut white cardstock for the labels and then it was used again to cut all of the colors of the rainbow for the little insert piece. I cut the cap twice for each paint tube, one out of black cardstock and then the one out of its coordinating color. The top was trimmed off of the colored cap and then adhered to the top of the black one. One down and five to go. The assembly begins by mounting the black cardstock paint tube onto a foam die cut. I then adhered the detail piece for the bottom of the tube. Next, I'm going to adhere the white label. There are score lines on the tube to help position it correctly. And can you guess where the color label's gonna go? Yep, even I didn't have to think about that one. The black cap is adhered, and then the top of the red cap trimmed off so that it can detail the black one. So as you can see, these tubes come together very quickly, even if you're doing six of them. A white cardstock panel trimmed to three and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter is mounted on a black cardstock one that measures three and a half inches by eight and a half. I'm going to use a T ruler to help me align the tubes across the panel. I spent a little bit of time fiddling around with these tubes, but once I was more or less happy, then I started adhering them. This part went pretty quickly. Because they were being glued down, there was no chance for me to knock them out of position, which was what I was doing and why I was fiddling so long with them. A strip of black cardstock was cut down to eight inches by three quarter inches. The Hello from Spellbinder's Laird Mix and Match Sentiments was die cut four times from rainbow patterned paper. I didn't trust myself to space the sentiments out evenly across that strip of black cardstock, so I decided that I would put Tombow glue on them, leave them until they are tacky and repositionable, and then tackle it. And while the glue was drying, I went ahead and adhered my panel to a card base that measures three and three quarter by eight and three quarter inches. The first hello was positioned so that it would align with the touch point of the fourth tube. I then positioned the other three, but I didn't press them down. I just let them kind of lay on top so that I could easily adjust them. I then just worked down the line, trying to evenly space them out as best as I could. And they're not perfect, but not bad. When I get too anal about something, I remind myself that this is not a store-bought card. We need to learn to embrace the imperfections of our handmade cards. That's what tells people we made it for them. Anyhow, it's time to move on to the Nouveau Crystal Drops. And this is how it all began, with three little accent points of a color that coordinated with the tube of paint. If you are interested, I'll have all of the colors used listed on my blog. Once my rainbow of embellishments were applied, then I reached for my Nouveau Crystal Glaze and I applied that to the color portion of the label. When I'm working with any of the glazes, I periodically will hold my panel up eye level so that I can see if I've missed any spots or if there are any bubbles. 
I wanted the color indicator on the caps to shine as well. So I switched over to my Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew and just pulled a strip of it across the top of the cap. And then I put everything away. And I'm not sure what came over me, but I pulled them all out again and I went a little Nouveau crazy. I filled in the area around those accent points with small little Nouveau drops, creating a more pronounced rainbow background. And then when there was no more room for one more drop, I put them away. And that completes this fun card featuring Spellbinder's Painter's Palette. I have lots of crafty friends, and I know that one of them will really appreciate this card that celebrates rainbows and craft supplies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I appreciate your visit.